<laughs> it's so sick. Back at you with another video. We got Justin riding here on the old Polaris 800. We got still got to do that race, me versus him. See what's uh, faster, 600 versus eight. If I win, the deal was he's shaving his mustache and beard. No, so no, 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 no. that's not the deal because Tyler <laughs> hasn't made any stipulation. He wants well, to give me a TMMX hoodie. Ten TMMX hoodies. I don't want ten. <laughs> All right, uh, fresh twenty dollar bill, and we'll take you out to dinner. <laughs> For my facial hair. For your I've facial hair. I've had a beard since I was a junior in high school. And <laughs> well, I have not shaved clean. We'll have to see on that. Well, Look at there it, will it's be like a... It's in full stride right now. <laughs> there it's will not... be a video soon of us racing. But unfortunately, right now, today, as of right now, is the last day we're going to be able to ride. We got what? Th we had three or four good days, right? Three or four good days to be able to ride. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be 45. And I... I don't understand why it's going from negative degrees to 45 degrees tomorrow, then right back down it's to negative degrees. Lift. So it's gonna um, it's gonna make a base. Yeah, that's all it's gonna. But then do. if we don't get more rain. snow, then we're kind of screwed. But the base is there. After that, it's not getting warm again. Yeah, true. So, so I guess we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens on that. But um, yeah, like I said, as of right now, tomorrow trails are closed. It's supposed to rain up to one inch. So whatever. There'll be a base now and not just full of powder. But uh, we're getting a bunch of guys together tonight do a big ride before obviously we might not be able to ride for a little while so we will uh i'll update you guys in a little bit i don't know how much it's about to get dark it's like 5 30 right now so we'll see how the gopro does at nighttime with the with the headlights going so well we got a good probably 30 minutes before uh before ryan gets here so we'll mess around in these snow banks these little tiny pit bike jumps we have before we uh, lose daylight i won't be able to get any footage so we'll see what we can get for the time being Joe just showed up here, back to the truck up. We got the sled off, and uh, he's gonna be he's ripping with us too. Right <laughs> but uh, he'll fire this thing up. We're supposed to have like maybe 10 guys tonight riding. There it is. I was waiting for him to roost us. <laughs> just I nail it. I like my taste that somebody pulls up in a Chevy and drops off an Articat. That's no bueno. <laughs> Ryan's getting his all warmed up and uh, we're waiting for everybody else to show up. But uh, his brother's got to get his sled going. I think he, I think Ryan figured out the uh, heated shield plug. He got it going another day. But uh, all these things are covered in, what's the uh, tubes? Covered in ice. They haven't had time to uh, thaw out yet. Justin's got nothing to say about the Articat. <laughs> Why do they put this there? That's right. Alright, we just got back from a uh, probably three hour ride. Loading up and uh, heading out. Good to go. Now I gotta ride mine. Alright, so it's the next day here, two days later after I talked about losing all the snow. We actually lost quite a bit of snow where you can see the grass in some spots, so 
and uh, it doesn't look like in the forecast we're supposed to get snow for another week or so. But it uh, looks like around here, I'm not going to be riding for a little while. We might be able to ride this weekend somewhere else, which is like 40 minutes away. But um, we're not counting on that. But to finish off this video, I know it's going to be a shorter video. I just want to talk about the uh, CR125 build because I know a lot of people are very eager um, for me to start the build. Um, if you didn't see previous videos, I explained where I want to have most of the parts in before I start it. That way I can chug along and just go video back to back on building this thing and getting it done. But uh, the Somerville here, I was just thawing it out, had the heater on so everything can melt off. And I got to clean that up and then uh, do a little run over on that. Um, and then obviously the CR125, uh, as you guys know, um, I'll show you some of the parts that I already um, just got in for this thing. I might be able to get the, the teardown video here soon in about a week or so. Just to get everything torn down and then figure out some other parts and various things I may need. And then get those in and start doing that. But uh, yeah, this thing's in not the best condition. So it's got a lot to clean up and it's probably going to be kind of like my KX125 was. Kind of a better transformation how it looks like crap now. And then being able to see what it will be when everything's done and this thing looks brand new. So if you guys want to stay on the lookout for those videos on the CR125, make sure you're subscribed, hit the subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss the uh, the build series video and Alta's still chilling here. Um, I would haven't, actually it might work out where if the snow melts, I could bring the Alta in the basement, get it out of here, make some room in the garage. I got to clean everything up. Everything once again is a mess because every time you do a build or do anything, it causes a mess. So I got to organize everything before I even start the CR. But uh, yeah, over here, um, we got a whole kit from Wrench Rabbits or Wrench Rabbit. Um, they hooked it up with the whole um, top and bottom rebuild kit with all the, I'll just show you in a minute. Um, then we got a um, from Pivot Works, hooked it up with uh, new swing arm bearings. We have new wheel bearings, I believe these are. And then we have some, another front wheel bearings. I'm not unsure if I want to do the Tusk wheels, um, the kit wheels that you can buy on like eBay for like 500 bucks or do the stock wheels, Cerakote the hubs, get some uh, powder coat the wheels or get different wheels and then lace them up that way. Unsure if I, what I want to do specifically yet, but I will figure it out. But in this Wrench Rabbit kit, I'll go over it in the CR125 build, but huge shout out to Wrench Rabbits. They hooked it up and uh, supplied me with all the parts for the build. So obviously you get everything that you would possibly need, every single bearing, every single seal that you need to do the entire bike so the whole thing's got to get torn down split the cases that way i can uh vapor hone everything so i'm redoing literally the entire bike is going to be brand new so got all these parts good to go ready for the build and obviously over here we couldn't not have one of these so we'll get into that later in the build but uh yeah as of right now as you can see we're getting some of the parts in and uh i'll get started on this build very very soon honestly you haven't been seeing very many videos from me i've been uh trying to enjoy this thing have fun on it while we had the snow so i literally was out riding this thing for the past uh like three or four days while i had the snow um i didn't film every day i was just trying to can't really film everything on these things it gets um kind of repetitive as far as like riding on trails and whatnot and gopro footage so trying to make the most of it and uh put out as much content that's uh enjoyable trying to see what works as far as the snowmobile videos not everybody likes them i understand i'm not mainly a snowmobile channel but uh i know some people enjoy them i'm having fun on it it's all that matters but yeah this thing's pretty fun something new something fresh than uh ripping pit bikes in the snow and dirt bikes but i clearly don't have a whole ton of room in here this is on each side thing barely fits i gotta organize everything and Make some more room in here. With that, if you want to see what's going down before the vlogs come out, you can follow me on Instagram, which is at Tyler Monaghan. Um, I've kind of been not posting as many videos this month, trying to organize myself for this year. Everything good to go, obviously, for the CR. That way I can, in February, hopefully, um, get that thing almost finished. And then hopefully, by the time I maybe go on a trip to ride, come back, finish that up. And then by that time, it should be spring. And we should be able to uh, ride that thing here. Some riding videos on that. That's the plan. Is That's kind of how it lined up on the KX125. And they kind of line up perfectly um, in springtime when it started to get warm and it could ride that thing. So I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to cap this video off here. If you're new, hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.